All right guys, Greg with Neomag here. I've got a little experiment we're gonna do today. One question that I get asked a lot, or people assume, is that the Neomag is going to mess up their phone or something in, in, in their pocket or just being near it or something. Uh, I've, I've done a lot of testing with this even before I came out to the market with the Neomag, but I thought it's about time that I, I show you guys for sure what it will do or not do, but then I thought, I wonder how many magnets it would take to actually get an iPhone to react to a magnet or it to completely wipe out a phone or whatever it is. So I've got a few Neomax here and I've got a few bricks of magnets. Each one of these magnets is eight pounds of pull uh, times about 300 magnets. You do the math, uh, you could probably lift a car with this thing. I have a couple of these bricks if we need to use it. So we're going to fire up a couple iPhones here and we're going to see what happens. All right, so I have a couple iPhones here that a couple of very gracious guys donated to science. So the first thing I want to start off with is showing you what, an, what a Neomag will do. So say worst case scenario, you have this in your pocket and you throw your iPhone in there and it it comes in contact. You know, you, you don't have a magazine in there and it comes in contact with your phone. So we can put this on here. The magnet's actually, it's not screwing anything up, but it is, it's capacitive touch. So you can actually control your iPhone with your Neomag. Hey, there you go. So, yeah, it's, it's not going to, a Neomag with, with no magazine in it, right off the bat, we're going to say, no problem here. Try it with this phone. Just so you know, I have this one. I have this phone that has a pass lock on it. This one does not, because I figured we would test it a few different ways. So, no problem here. I took a couple photos with it. So, let's go into photos on both of these. And photos are still on there. No problem. All right, so we've established one Neomag with no magazine in it. Not going to not gonna be an issue. Obviously, if you have a magazine in there, you're just going to insulate even more between the magnet and your phone. So what should we try next? Well, let's go to the extreme. And, okay, what if we throw it in here with... All kinds of Neomags. Oh no. Alright. I was moving it around. No problem. Still works. Still have photos. Try with this iPhone. those Neomags. Alright. No problem. Kind of scratch up your screen. Alright, so we've established that a Neomag will not do anything to your precious iPhone. Let's bring out the big boy here. And let's see what this will do. So these are, we're just going to go direct on here. I'm going to start off with yeah, these things are scary. Yeah, it's just... It's going to, uh... Alright, yeah, that's not going to happen. It's going to keep moving around the apps. Alright, so let's try this. How about a whole roll? this one. Oh, here's two rolls. It's dialing some numbers. So if your phone's unlocked and you got to happen to have a couple hundred neodymium magnets in your pocket, let's try the back of the phone. 
any problems here. Let's see. Oh, something happened here. It's gonna restart. All right, let's see what happens here. Couple rolls. No problems here. Two rolls, not doing anything to this one. This guy's gonna restart. We'll, we'll see why in a second here, see if anything happened to that. All right, let's go and double it. Ugh. All right, four rolls of neodymium magnets. All right, this guy restarted. Yeah, there's no SIM card. All right. Any loss of, no loss of documents, no loss of photos. Restarted, seems to be all right. All right, so we got four rolls now. There's a lot of magnets. Oh, no problems there. Loading iTunes. All right, so still no problem here with all these magnets. Remember, each one of these, eight, eight pounds of pull. way to do is put it, put it on the bottom. Yeah. All right. We got some calendar stuff. All right. So we got a whole bunch of magnets here. Putting these on. Still no problems. Sandwich it. Sandwich the iPhone and magnets. All right. Definitely wants the magnet to the to the edges. All right. So now some of you guys might be thinking, all right, Greg. Pull on magnets is on these edges, not on the sides. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of pull here, but there's a lot of pull that way. The hard part is getting these things to stay on edge when they're all next to each other. So, ah, so hard to work with. Let's see if I can get this. Let's see if I can get a bunch of little stacks. So what we're trying to go for here is as much surface magnets as we can. To be honest, having this many having this many uh, magnets at the same time, it's so hard to work with. They just want to stick everything. So, let's try
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'll wake these bad boys back up. All right, let's see what happens when I lay this on top of all of these. Nothing really happens on the back side. How about the front? No. Still no problems. Still have photos, videos. Thumbs up. How about with this guy? So on top. Yeah, it's not really doing anything. It's kind of disappointing. I was hoping to uh, see, some, see some kind of catastrophic failure here by putting 300 neodymium magnets on these phones. You can see it's holding, you can see it's holding on to them. So, that's a bummer. Come on, iPhones, you're supposed to... I thought electronics were supposed to wipe out when you put big magnets on them. Well, we can establish one thing. Well, we can establish one thing. The magnets used in a Neomag, like I said, eight, eight pounds of pull each one, will not affect an iPhone. Now, obviously, I don't have every, every phone make and model out there to test. Uh, I've only got a couple iPhones here. And uh, yeah, it's not doing anything to these. Sorry to disappoint. I know I'm disappointed. But uh, thanks for watching this, guys. And uh, have a good day.